In this video, I will take you step by step how to install Van Video AI Generator on your local computer in Comfy UI interface. And we're going to do this for a reason because my previous videos will look how to install many different K Light, we install the um, frame pack and other ones, we install all these different beautiful models to generate videos. But sometimes you have questions how do they work, which one model is better, or which workflow is better. So I actually put it in a kind of test, extensive test, and I created my own chart, which I will share in my next video, which upcoming, about what model, how they perform, quality of the product, how they produce quality, speed, how much RAM they require. By the way, this is number, it's my numbers of level. They don't rep represent, for example, five right here for frame pack, it's mean 24, but uh, gigabyte, but it's also related to resolution or model you're using. And as well, right here, we have a maximum resolution when you use with bigger model. So this is just a snippet, the preview what coming. But you know what, in my previous video, I never show how to do with the van. And I think it's a good opportunity for me to share with you multiple workflows and very many interesting workflows, as well as many different new models for the van. Some quantities I allowed you to run on very low VRAM machines. And that way you can practice by yourself. You can actually install your machine, test, and just be sure if for some reason van it's what working for you, you'll know how to do this. Okay, let, let's go start with this. First, right here, you can see this is image to video, and this is a basic um, workflow that come default with one. What do I mean default? It's meaning when you install model, and by the way, links will be down below to workflows, to models and everything, so you'll have it um, kind of access <laughs> where to download, so you don't need search web and try find them. But anyway, so, and this is basic. However, it's have it many other ones models like KJ or other ones, which is using their own quantized models for s speed and uh, size of the VRAM, which is very similar will be to these, but you'll see some small different. And most of them will be, they're using their own nodes. So they're actually kind of combine and write the nodes. Well, very fast going over nodes, how they work and what they represent. But before we do this, let me show you first what we have here. We I'm using currently Comfy UI and this Comfy UI is 0 0.3.34 version. And additionally, what I installed is Comfy UI Manager in some kind of nodes because we need for the workflow. The, you can go ahead and download it Comfy UI from the link down below if you don't have it Comfy UI. And if you don't have it, I will highly recommend for you to check my other video about uh, Comfy UI from, for the beginner. So I, I took step by step explaining how everything installed. I don't want to spend time here to repeat it already that things what I did multiple times. But if you're interested, again, link down below for that video, please check in. I would recommend for you if you have it very busy interface, if you have it a lot of different nodes that have a clean install of Comfy UI. When you experiment or when you work with new nodes, with new workflows, in this case, you'll know if something goes wrong, that is directly with this model. By the way, here, if you go to Comfy UI, you can download it Windows Portable. Notice they do have it now also desktop applications. Um, it's have some plus and minuses. We will review this maybe sometime later, but it is kind of in beta and would recommend just use it Windows Portable. Now it's come with one nice pack you just open install and it's work there as well i would recommend for you to install um comfy ui manager this way it's make it much easier to install some of those nodes we're going to use okay and if you go down below right here instructions it's actually also tell you how you can install on your local machine or you can watch my other video where i'm also showing step by step how to do this Let's say at this point, you already install your Comfy UI, you have it always running, you also have it your manager all ready to work. So the workflow, first we'll go use the basic. Um, you can easily just go download it or drag and drop. And we are going to, as example, just take the image, put it right there. And you can see right here, I have a workflow. It's called from text to image. 
But for this to work properly, we need to have it all of these models. We need to have it our diffusion model. We need to have it our clip, text encoder, and we need to have it video. So we need to have it all of these models preloaded for us. You don't need to download all of this model, but because I like to experiment, I usually downloaded all of them small and big and just test how they work. But let me show you. So right here we have it, a clip vision, diffusion, text encoder, and via. And this is actually folders where you need to put them. Because example, like right here, you have it models folder, and inside this model you have it your clip vision where you can put it your other ones in the diffusion models, you put it your van models, and of course you can see right here I have it all different flags, frame pack, Hunai video, so many different so you can put it right here. And this is just going by the name. Same like if you needed clip vision, you just go in and put it inside clip vision. So let's look on some diffusion models since it may be helpful. First, very, very <laughs> simple approach. If it's bigger size, it means it will require that a lot of size to load it in your VRAM. So just if bigger size, it will require VRAM. Very, very simple explanations. And you can see right here the size is going. So you're probably looking for some FP8 at least for the smaller size and you can download it as well. Those models is specified in um, whatever wor workflow you work. Uh, point I want to say this is for the traditional van original. When we start working with KIG workflow it developed their own quantized model so it's a little bit optimized. Then those ones you will need downloaded from different place. A lot of download, but just general keep in mind right here the smaller ones it will obviously run on smaller and bigger models on bigger very simple approach to this. So right here you have it your diffusion models, you have it your text encoders as well. You have it your VA. By the way, text encoders and VA in many cases they will work from for the different models, even KG or other models or GGFU, they work even with them. So you need it those ones clip text and via it's universal will kind of work on this just go ahead right here download it link for them down below and place it in folders that related to them this is about all i mean it's a very simple way to do it so after you install it you'll be ready to run um, your application so let's look what we have this is default and you can see right here we have it one model many times checkpoint may be already included inside clip and via in this case it's separated and it's actually done for a reason so you can load a different diffusion model based on how much vram you have it so that separation will help you to manage a little bit better but right here we have our diffusion model and you can always if it's loaded on wrong place you can click and just verify if your diffusion models is displaying here and as well here you can select a different one Sometimes you may need match if you're using different diffusion model with a properly of your um, clip. Keep this in, in <laughs> kind of in mind. And notice right here we have a type van, so it's what we're using. You can utilize a different clip if you utilize um, like Cosmo, Luminary, Mochi, some other ones. And that will be useful for us when we start comparing in other videos. And of course, we have it our layer loaded right here, which we're going to use. Down below, we have it our, and this is as Hunai Layton video, it just utilizes the same note, just ignore it. It just all it does, it's a, a create latent space for our video. Important for us to keep it some width and height. And actually, if we look right here, width and height for our uh, van, it's a 576 by 320. So, this is set a little bit different, but you can readjust sizes. Also, link, this is how many frames generated, which you should divide by frames per second. So in this case, if we multiply, it will be 30 to uh, 16. If we divide, it will be 2.0 something. So one frame, it's a zero, it's at the beginning. But generally, it will tell us it's a two seconds of animations here. And batch is just process one. We have it our default negative, positive, prompt and because it's negative and positive it's tell us it is utilizing somewhat engine of stable diffusion and we actually can see right here sampling it's a sd3 so kind of give away a little bit 
what model actually is using for image generating. We actually have it our very basic case sampler, so it's how I say it's a very simple model, work extremely fast, take very low memory, and actually probably produce quite a bit good result. As long you don't try to create a very long animations, very long animations will take more memory and you start losing coherence in this. But that is okay because some of the workflow allowed us to use the from image to image so we can create a keyframe. And later here we have our decoder and creating animation safe uh, WebP. Also, KG nodes allowed you to save like MP4 or other things so you can connect to here. So let's look on the image, for example, right here, um, image to animation. And in this very similar what we said before, only we have it our start frame. We don't have it our end frame in this. And as well, everything about same, except right here we have it then image to video, go to K simpler. And this work very similar. So let's go look on a KG and see what is different than this. Actually, I think it says KG, Kijai, that is what we properly name for that. What at first, what we want to do, it is uh, loaded properly um, nodes. We're going to use custom nodes. It's how I say we're going to utilize manager. Inside manager, you can click on custom no nodes. And right here, we can just search for Kijai. And you can see what I recommend for you to install, and we need it one. Comfy UI KG nodes. This is very, even if you don't work on this, I highly recommend this is very powerful nodes. They used in a lot of workflows. They had a very good, and you can check the documentation on this. And another ones we need to install, it's a video. And right here we have our workflows. Again, links down below. Um, if you notice what we have here, it is quite a bit complex and some of them floating. So I like this workflow because it's got a very good documentation and explanation what it does. By the way, if you're missing some nodes at that time, you will notice you'll have it like red nodes around. If for some reason you miss them installation, then just go to manager and click on install missing custom nodes. In my case, I don't have it any, so it will be empty. On yours, it will show. It also will ask to restart and you can restart directly from here. However, I do recommend for you, it just going and close it your server and restart it. This way it will guarantee it's clean and will reload it because a few times, for some reason, it did not work for me. Just let you know, um, if you see the problem, just restart your server. Okay, so we installed nodes and we're kind of ready. Also, if you install, another things I like about this workflow, because oh, let, let me show you. So right here, I, for example, did not install a few models. And if I have it and just same drag and drop this workflow, Notice what's happening right here pop up and says missing models when loaded. Well, in my case, they're not necessarily missing. They're just on different locations, but it's from here. You can actually go ahead and download this, which is kind of very nice because this is utilize its own models, not just what we loaded. You remember it says um, Kaijia have it their own quantized models. So it's kind of nice. And right here, let's look very fast what we have here. And you can see we have our um, connection. So this is if you have a Triton, install it. I don't have it in this specific setup, install it. So I disable this and it's what come, come and install and you can reconnect. You also have it additional for the models. And you can see right here, this is the Kijaya. It is those models that you can download it directly, which is kind of very nice if you don't want to download it when you open because when you open it, still you download those models. So it's we save you some step. We also have it similar to load models. Only at this time we also have it our clip vision here, which we did not have it before. Uh, Preloaded our image. So this is from image to animations as well. They have a different workflows where you have it start and end image, and those ones a little bit better for coherence. It, working and the same we have a little bit more processing like resize image which is adjusting we need this um, we also start utilizing a little bit different encoder and it does have a negative and positive and this is part of those 
um, special pockets what I said if you install it KG Pox KC Pock that is KG Pock that you have a very nice custom nodes right here so it's just same going through video encoders going to our samplers and you can see it's a little bit more to this but general this is kind of work give you more flexibility work a little bit better and as well we have it up now different combine instead of just the m video you have it right here you can select format you want it and as well type of the encoding if you need it so you can go with mp4 for example 264 by the way um just let you know if you have a question 265 it's more optimized for 4k 264 optimized more for 1080p so just keep it this one same we have your tiles and as well you have your frame rate 16 frames per second here and if we're going down look right here it's where we can find um, additional settings so how many frames do we want to generate okay let me see so our steps you can see it's a little bit more um, flexibility provided in this workflow so i run few tests and we'll run more in the next video. This is general, I want to just prepare you to install the van on your machine. You can see how it's very easy and simple. I also will provide for you extra links for another website where they have it uh, like ComfyUI Wiki, where they have a very good also resource for you to explore more if you want, if you prefer more read versus visual. Well, this is a shorter kind of overview. Hopefully, it will provide enough information for you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time when we start playing more with different models.